Welcome everybody to Forza Horizon 4 and today we're taking a look at the 2018 Celine S1. Now this is a, a sports car that has an all aluminium lightweight chassis combined with a carbon fibre body. It's got independent suspension all around, a 6 speed manual gearbox and a rear wheel drive mid engine layout. Now the uh, CEO of Celine, Steve Celine, has said that this is a, a sports car but with supercar DNA and I think he means that by the fact that it is rear wheel drive, it is mid engine and it does look like a lot of other supercars from you know the modern era obviously as yeah it does look like a kind of like a cross between a Corvette, McLaren, maybe a Ferrari as well uh, but yeah it's definitely on a sports car kind of level given its uh, power output which is from a rather interesting choice of engine to be honest as it is a, a 2.5 litre turbocharged inline 4 engine producing 450 horsepower and 442 pounds feet of torque which I know doesn't sound all that much but quite frankly that's more than enough in a car that only weighs 2,685 pounds thanks to all of the uh, lightweight uh, elements that have been using it and the fact that the engine is far smaller than other vehicles of its type it's about uh, it's got half the cylinders of most Ferraris and uh, yeah it's uh, way down on cubic capacity in comparison to say McLaren and uh, yeah that lack of weight and the fact it's got a re really rather decent amount of horsepower means that this car is pretty damn quick despite the numbers not suggesting it but yeah this is definitely a pre-production model as the uh, interior doesn't look wholly complete as uh, yeah as you can see there's a very minimal amount in here but who knows maybe they're going for a minimalist style but I do like the fact it's got a manual gearbox instead of a flappy paddle one although one is apparently going to be available at some point and uh, yeah it doesn't look very complete I'm not really a fan of the screen being down behind the gear lever because you know if you're in a you know a gear that's got the gear lever forward then uh, you're not really going to be able to pick this, uh, use the screen very well but still I like the simplicity of it even if it doesn't look quite as uh, high quality as the uh, likes of McLaren. You've got a decent amount of space behind the seats there for any uh, luggage that you need because quite frankly the uh, the front boot isn't particularly big nor all that deep either so yeah you might be able to get a bag or two in there but nothing major but at the end of the day this is a sports car it's not meant to be practical it's meant to be fast and enjoyable to drive and uh, yeah let's uh, get out there and uh, see just how enjoyable it is now I say this is a pre-production model because it says on Celine's website that the 2020 Celine S1 is coming soon and obviously we're already into 2021 so uh, yeah I'm not sure if this is going to get a release anytime soon so uh, yeah, but it would be a shame if it doesn't because this is absolutely fantastic in a lot of ways to be honest. Although it's not quite so fantastic in other ways, but we'll get to that eventually. But yeah, it's still really rather quick. You can feel the fact it doesn't weigh anything at all. It weighs at least a good couple hundred pounds lighter than the lightest of McLarens in you know the sub 600 horsepower kind of category, and it still weighs about 115 pounds less than a uh, Senna. So. Uh, yeah, it's incredibly lightweight, uh, which is good to see because not many American cars really are lightweight. Obviously, Selena are owned by GM, but it's also been partially uh, funded by uh, a Chinese company. Uh, this, the look of this car is also based on a uh, defunct car, I think it was called the Artiga GT or something like that. Uh, so yeah, they basically up, it up, you know, modernise the older design that got scrapped and uh, yeah, put a GM-derived engine because. This engine is wholly built by Celine, so uh, yeah, which is again nice to see that American cars are trying something different with their power plants rather than the typical V8 that we've obviously become accustomed to from America. And uh, yeah, even though it's not got all that much power and torque in comparison to other vehicles, it still shifts in terms of acceleration. You can do not 60 in 3.6, uh, 3.5, sorry, 16 seconds. Go up to 108.7 seconds and it going to top speed of 179 miles an hour which is still fairly decent and uh, I imagine it's top of the class for sports cars although if it was a uh, class as a supercar then obviously it would be a lot lower down but still pretty damn good. Now I'll let you listen to the engine for a little bit and uh, then we'll talk about it some more.
So yeah, it's not got the most exciting sounding engine, but because it is a uh, small engine and it's turbocharged, you can generally feel the uh, shove of acceleration from that turbocharger when you get going. And uh, yeah, it is still quite exciting to drive, even if it's not particularly uh, great sounding. But it would be amazing to see GM put this engine into a hot hatchback of some sort, because then I would be, uh, yeah, it would be a sit up and look kind of car. But as it is, it's still fairly decent. Uh, the handling especially is great. Like I said, you can really feel the fact that it's not got very much weight going for it. There is a hint of, hint of understeer to tell you uh, you're being a bit stupid, but outside of that, yeah, it's really nicely balanced. And uh, yeah, the fact it's got very little weight uh, in any regard, never mind the fact it's got very little weight in the middle due to the lightweight engine, means that yeah, it's a proper point and squirt uh, sports car, quite frankly. And uh, yeah. The uh, fact that they've gone for a more simple uh, design is also nice to see, it's not all wheel drive, like I said it's got no flappy panda gearbox, it's uh, not got any hybrid technology that a lot of uh, sports cars and supercars are going for at the moment, but I imagine these kind of sized engines with this kind of power output is what we're going to be seeing from sports cars more nowadays and maybe even supercars, obviously they might well be a bit more powerful but yeah I imagine we are definitely going to see a lot more cars like this have far more downsized engines but if they're like this then I have no problem with that because I do think it looks pretty good especially like the uh, single strip rear light there and uh, yeah it's got a fixed uh, rear wing double exhaust and uh, yeah it just looks all re really rather nice nothing spectacular and certainly not anything that's massively original but still looks pretty good and as you can see it can get up to its top speed easily and on this side of the motorway at least get up to even more than that due to the uh, downhill gradient so uh, yeah it's still capable in a straight line but it's also really capable in terms of the corners and uh, yeah with it being so little in weight and having such a small engine I imagine this is really economical as well so even if it's not practical in terms of you know how much you can put in the car cause you only get one passenger and a limited amount of luggage uh, it's definitely going to be a kind of car that's going to be practical on a uh, day-to-day -day basis in terms of you know fuel economy and uh, general usage as a uh, yeah it's got all of the torque possible to uh, make use of its uh, six-speed gearbox so you can put it in a higher gear and just trundle along and you won't be doing many miles to the gallon with uh, such a small engine and uh, not much in the way of weight to lug around so uh, yeah I'm really rather impressed by it. it would be a shame if this didn't get a uh, production model because we've had that disappointment with Celine before with the Raptor which again was a mid-engine rear-wheel drive supercar slash sports well that was definitely more of a supercar because that had more than 600 horsepower but yeah that didn't get put into production which was a great shame because that's easily one of my uh, favourite kind of what if kind of cars out there but yeah I highly recommend trying this car out if you haven't already you get it by doing the 50% on the current festival playlist which again is easy enough as usual with these kind of uh, you know goals to get in a car and uh, yeah it's well worth getting but nonetheless thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye